Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to OneMinuteDigital.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create an editable PDF letterhead that you or your client can open up in Adobe Acrobat and make changes to um, so they don't have to have a program like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and they can send out a digital version if they want to. Okay, so here's our letterhead that we've created in Illustrator. Just a blank letterhead. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over to my text edit and copy a letter that I've made a dummy letter and I've just used lorem ipsum text just to make a uh, sort of the formatting to where you can show your client that's where your letter would go um, so they know where to start typing and it's just lorem ipsum dummy you know it's a fake letter basically so that looks good it has the date who it's to the letter and a signature um, let's just make it one paragraph you'll see why later when we open that up this is just a dummy letter again so it doesn't matter let's delete that and maybe move that signature down so they have more room to type what they want. Okay, so let's save that. Go to File, Save As. And let's just save it as a PDF. Call it Letterhead PDF. And make sure that Preserve Illustrator Editing Capabilities is checked. Save PDF. Okay, so now if we go to Adobe Acrobat and we open up that file, letterhead.pdf. Now we're in Adobe and here's our letter. And what you or your client, if you send this to them, what they can do now is go up to Tools, Content Editing, Edit Text and Images. And when you click there, you'll see it separates everything that is separated by more than one return into boxes of text. So there's the date in one box, the name, uh, Dear John, and the body of the letter there in its separate box and the signature. But they can edit it from this point, so can you. So I'll just copy and paste so you can see you go ahead and return and paste. You can type a longer letter if you want. You can format here. You can select everything and change the font here or the text size. You can make everything 10 point. Mm, 10 point, you can change the color. Everything that you can do in Word, you can format over here on the styling panel. You can even delete boxes that you don't want. And so there you go. Um, this is how you would edit it and make your own letter. So your clients can send to their clients and so on and so on and so on. Um, an important thing at this point to remember is when you've done this and say you've changed the letter on the template and now you want to send it to your client, go over to protection. It's on the bottom of the editing panel here. Click on protection and you want to restrict editing because you don't want to send this letter to your client and have them be able to then edit your letter and send it to someone else using your letterhead. We just want to restrict it. So click on restrict editing. It's going to ask you for a password. I'm going to use 12345, which is the worst password ever, uh, just for demonstration. And it warns you, hey, you can still edit it, but once you close it, you're going to be locked out. So just keep that in mind and say OK. Now if we save this as a, let's say, a letterhead client, because we've re rewritten our letter to our client. And if we open that in Adobe Acrobat, Oops, I hadn't closed it. Would help if I closed it. File, open, letterhead client. And now when they get this letter and they try to edit it by going to tools, content editing, edit text and images, you have a warning that comes up. It says it's secured and you cannot edit it. And that's what you want if you send this out to someone. So they just read it, but they can't then go and change the letter um, to something you don't want them to and send that out to other people using your uh, logo and branding information. So there you go. And it also works if you were to try to open this um, let's open a reset one. in Illustrator, it's going to ask you for a password because Illustrator and Photoshop too, they know that it's password protected and you have to have that in order to open it to make any changes. But we don't need to do that right now. So if uh, you're ever in here and you need to go back and edit it, but it won't let you, the way you break back into it is go to File, Properties, click on that Security panel, change it to No Security. It's going to ask you for that password, so make sure you don't forget that one. And it says, are you sure? Yes, OK. And now if you go back to Edit Text and Images, you get those boxes again, and you can edit to your heart's content there and send that to your client. So if you're doing this for a client and you're going to send it to them so that they can edit, do make sure you talk to them about the protection panel so that when they do it and they're sending it off to all of their people, 
you want them to be able to restrict the editing themselves so that all of their clients cannot uh, go ahead and delete their logo if they want, because you can. You can delete graphics, you can delete the whole logo, they can do all kinds of things, and you don't want them to be able to do that. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you, and until next time, bye-bye.